when you apply migration in ESP.NET Core and you got error looking like this, uh, the seed entity for entity type product cannot be added because another seed entity with the same key value for ID has already been added. Consider using DB context option builder dot enable sensitive data logging to see the conflicting key values. So uh, if you have uh, that types of error, so just uh, see your seeding values in data context file. Here you can see that here we have a category table, but uh, the uh, error show that in the product table. So just go for the product table. So here we have a product table and the key value ID is one id is 2 but here you can see that id is duplicate and you know that in asp.net core if you have it uh, if you have id in a table then you uh, then you can say that it's a primary key so there is a no duplicate so just remove if you want to remove this types of error so just change the duplicate key duplicate value of the id that is 3 and after that you have to use migration now save this and you have to here we have that migration uh, that is initial you can say so just add some migration like that okay and here we have that the name initial is already be used in existing migration so uh, update to db or you can say that seed db and here you can say that uh, that is uh, here we have some data in the category table as well as the product table so you can see okay and your migration will be added successfully thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core